and welcome back to my first episode of 5B1C Season 3. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, how nice is it to be back as <laughs> the suburb sets fire behind us, of course. Uh, yeah, it's nice to be back, mate. Uh, we're in a wonderful new map, of course, this time created by um, the amazing Exe, who we all know and love and appreciate on this channel. Of course, he made Anavaria and Ilos maps for us. Uh, quite an interesting format for this season. So we're going to be working with the capital city. Um, our first rotation to each of the main builders will take place here as we continue to build up the capital. And then each of us has our own little area now. Uh, Imperial Jedi has set up over here. Uh, the wonderful Yumble will be out in the desert and uh, we're going to put all of our four-way intersections to shame, I'm sure. Uh, I have a little sort of rural spot over here with some rail, some waterfront, so we can definitely do some nice things over here at some point. Uh, Zardus is next door, where he's already built a little fishing town, which is great. And uh, the delicious Slay 3K will be out here too. And then of course all our wonderful little gas builders are going to come in uh, throughout the series to gas build, of course. <laughs> what else would they do? But uh, yeah, thank you so much for all the support, you know, championing my name, allowing me to be part of this series. Uh, it's you guys that, you know, let me do this, so thank you so much. <laughs> really appreciate the support. So what am I going to do for my first build? Um, kind of similar to last season <laughs> when I first started. I'm eyeing up a little waterfront tram park here because um, we don't really have any uh, public transport in the capital at the minute. And there's a nice big open waterfront here. So I think we'll take the trams sort of along this way, run them parallel with this big waterfront road, and then get a couple of uniques, a little bit of car parking and some park life activity happening. I'm all on the water, which should give us quite a nice time indeed. But before we get started on the park, I do just want to start bringing in um, some more residential patterns into the area. So let's have a little look at what we can do. So we've got a European suburbia district set up next door to us, haven't we? Yes, we do. Let's make sure that we bring this out. And we'll carry on using these cute little vanilla plus roads. Let's also bring this little collector system out as well. Ten more units, then we can just box this off and... This can just be sort of general expansion as and when uh, people need it in the city. That's going to be fine for me. But we'll make these suburbs a little bit nicer. Let's give them a little bit of forestry fencing and some alleyways between. Okay, so bring these down. So I'm looking for the back-to-back -back houses and then really I want sort of three tiles between them. This should give me enough space here. So let's go ahead and get that district expanded out. This is going to make sure that we can carry on using the European suburbia stuff. Check our distance here, 12 units apart. Make sure that we mimic that on this side as well. And wonderful. And why not break the pattern here so we're not in sort of totally uh, relentless grid. So let's get some of these guys growing. So this is a classic old faithful sort of uh, vanilla staple detailing tip, right? Of having these little houses uh, behind, or little alleyways behind the houses rather. Okay, I'm going to get some nice repeatable zoning patterns here too. Not going to be just enormous, endless blocks, which would be nice for detail and a little bit of a suburban capital for us. Or capital suburbia, I guess, right? Cool. So while these are growing, let's come ahead and grab a little dirt road or dirt pathway. Let's line ourselves up in the middle. I'll bring this down and then we'll just choose the occasional spot uh, where we can perhaps just cut through uh, the grid design. This over here as well. Come on to an angle snap. Wonderful. Not this side. So we should just be able to use a node controller to insert some road crossings. Just so people can actually make use of the pathways a little bit more effectively. It's also come into our water pipes. We are following underneath the roads this season, so we'll have to continue to respect that. There we go. Should keep all the water pipe gang happy. Dive in some fencing now, as always, <laughs> right? Start burning through 5B's node count. So, just a little lining of forestry fence here. I think we'll give it just a touch more breathing room, because we actually do have some opportunities uh, for some repeated live oaks uh, to run behind these guys. Let's make sure that these are all zoned. Possibly do some manual plopping of commercial along this way too. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Let's make sure that we do actually provide a power connection there so these guys don't just immediately leave. Would not be a good start to the season, would it? 
we go. We'll eventually sink through, of course. Should be happy now. Yes, there we go. Let's dive into our content creator trees, and I just think a little bit of a prop line tool with a live oak. Of course, we haven't really tried this pattern before with the content creator trees now, so it should be quite nice. Yeah, there we go. Some little lined oak pathways between help detail the area, and also the hedges on the side of this European suburbia stuff is going to help line the pathway as well, which is very much appreciated. Okay, wonderful. That's great. It's going to continue to get more taxpayers in for us because, of course, I'm going to spend a ton of money today. So, well, <laughs> we're going to need it. Let's have a little look at the current economy situation. Do we have a loan? We can pay back the Silver Sunset Bank and we'll take it. It's going to bump us up to 35 grand. So I think I need 40 grand for a tram depot, right? I think it is. Yeah, it's 40,000. Yeah, so we'll definitely include this as part of the waterfront build, I think. And um, this is a very nice looking asset. Yeah, we'll have this on the waterfront. Cool. So let's repeat some of these suburbia designs. Uh, get some more taxpayers in, let some money accumulate. And then we can head over to our main waterfront build for today. So the commercial within this district is actually already specialised as green cities, so I think I'm happy to just uh, hand-pick a couple of our favourite assets out of it. There's probably a couple of nice little designs we can get in here. And let's not totally zone everything right, let's maybe leave a little bit of sort of overgrown forested area. So we are playing with some of these sort of gnarly looking tropical trees, which I'm very much on board with, and we can get involved with some of these down by the waterfront today as well. A couple of nice ones in here. So, we'll leave some of those in. Make a little garden out of it as well. A little bit of nature reserve fencing around the side. Always a strong favourite. A little bit of overgrowth too. And perhaps a couple of uh, tiny little vanilla rocks. Maybe some of the smaller, more medium content creator trees in there too. Okay, just to help round out the corner. Alright. Wonderful. So the suburb was green, just some general expansion, uh, continuing to respect the forestry and live oak pattern, uh, with some of the vanilla park assets dropped in around. I've got a regular one here, and a dog park over this side, which is great. And that gives us uh, now enough money to place the tram depot, which is very much the order of the day, right? So let's come into our road, let's go ahead and grab a tram. Uh, so we'll probably just use the regular snowfall one for right now, and we really want to decide exactly where the tram depot is going to sit. So it's a loud building, so over here isn't going to be the best spot for it, I don't think. Probably alongside a lot of this uh, commercial that's happening. Just onto a row length. Of course, we want to decide orientation as to where this sits. Right there is actually perfect. So that node is not ideally close, but it's only really going to be trams that come out of this once. So it's probably not that much of an issue. So I think I'm just going to upgrade a couple of sections of the main road into tram road and then where these new patterns come in we'll leave this because I do like the, the trees here. And then we will switch back now into just the tram only roads uh, from Snowfall DLC. Yes, yeah, just the tram tracks. So we'll come on with Anarchy and we'll also turn off road bending and there's probably some nice things we can do uh, with node controller here just to help straighten this intersection out a little bit. Widen everyone out, give everyone a touch more importance. Everyone's going to be on board with that. So let's decide a depth that we want to take the tram line to. I think saving sort of two tiles between this waterfront tram road and the sort of main ar waterfront arterial is going to be a sensible choice, isn't it? Keep following that road guideline where we can. 
Plus we'll turn off our angle snap and road net tools as well. And road guideline. Okay. Wonderful. Let's give the whole area a little forest brush as well. We will reinstate our own forest. Let's take a note of what we have. It's like green trees and a couple of the content creator ones, isn't it? A couple of maples in there too. Okay, so we can respect that if we want. Which we will. Fantastic. So let's round out a collection point for the tram over this end now. Let's carry on bringing this big uh, six lane tram road down and seeing exactly where we want to collect people. So I can't remember if Imperial Jedi or Zarda set up this marked roundabout, so I definitely don't want to destroy that. Uh, let's bring it down a little bit further here. Looks like there's an extra node in there, actually. Should we should probably remove that. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. It doesn't need to be there. Yeah, let's carry on down this way. Cool. And then we will just very temporarily set up a tram turnaround point with row length and angle on. Okay, we'll come out this side. And we are right-hand drive here, right? Yes, we are. So we will uh, now pop out to the right with a one-way tram road. Cool. So we'll decorate this up as well. Drop in some more commercial around it. But it gives us an end point for the tram. Which can now come all the way down and onto the waterfront. Fantastic. So let's establish sort of a park entrance uh, if we like. So which road do we want to come off here? I think probably this one's most central, isn't it? So let's run with that idea. Let's come ahead and find a little two unit road. I think I'm a big fan of these two lane avenue with trees. I really don't play enough with the vanilla plus road. There's some very nice ones in this park. Grab ourselves a workshop tree. So I would be keen to see how some of these look coming down the water. The gum trees are quite nice, but I do like this little trio of palms. So I think we'll use this to line our park road. Fantastic. So let's just give the nodes here, because if we were to cross the tram over at this point, again, it's kind of a little bit too close to this node. So I think what we'll do is bring it into the intersection by eight units, and then we'll come back out by eight as well. Then we'll bring this down, and then we'll do a little bit of node control now. Let's straighten everyone off. Um, and then I want to start shifting the tram nodes here. So it stretches in the same node, but still allows us to cross over. Okay, so again, we'll square everyone off. Let's widen that out. Okay, and then where we do have perhaps some not as fair designs that we like, we will just straighten this up. So it's all in the same intersection of the main road node now. We've not added an extra node here, um, which is really good. Let's also offset blue a little bit as well. And when you're doing this with the nodes, it can be just a little bit finicky. Um, but usually just offsetting with various different node colors here um, is going to allow everyone to settle in a little bit easier. So things that we did in Ilos, and uh, we can now bring them into 5B. Hopefully much better with the mods this time around <laughs> compared to Season 2. But we will see, of course, we will see. Alright, so that can carry on flowing now, and we can do this in several places as well if we want. But uh, that's going to be good for me. Let's go ahead and set up an actual park life area, because again, I don't think we have yet zero parks at the minute. We do actually need to paint out the first one. And I think we'll make this whole waterfront a park. It's not going to be a park life cheese. God forbid, after last season again as well, <laughs> when I turned City Bonners Park into a park life cheese. Uh, the people were not happy, but so we'll try and avoid that this season. At least for the most part. Okay, let's just bring this up to the tram depot. And that's going to be fantastic. Trim that off too. Oh no, he didn't like that. Are you okay? Did I just delete your connection? Yes, I did. I did actually delete your connection, didn't I? Um, this doesn't need to be tram road though, does it? No, let's just bring out a little one unit. There we go. Cool. So I think we'll bring the tram network out so it can just kind of carry on flowing and then for Yumble and Slay to pick up during their capital expansions, they have a tram line here if they want to include it. Of course they don't have to, but it's there if they want. It's down. And again, I'll just make myself a tiny little baby. Uh, tram turnaround point. Cool. And the tram can turn around here. 
Yeah, let's we'll definitely get the tram flowing now we have the option to. Can't wait to see some waterfront trams as always. <laughs> like easily. Easily the best. We all have a tram, right? We have a couple of stops in here. And then let's start bringing this into the main park area. So come down here. Fantastic. And then just mirror the stops as it comes back down the line. And there we go. Cool. I need to get into the habit of letting the game play. We're going to need the money today. Cool. So let's change this into... Oh, that's sort of a nice little baby blue tram while it's near the water. There it goes. Yes, please. So let's catch our first glimpse of the waterfront trams, especially keen to see it pass through the node. I'm very keen to see what happens here. There we go. That is satisfying, isn't it? Very nice. <laughs> I like it. I like it already. So thankfully we are also playing with um, some of the base sort of level uh, parking lot road stuff so we can do some car parks here today as well and we'll definitely have one um, sort of in the park itself for people that are wanting to drive here. But we'll do one here for right now. It's going to give us 10. Doesn't look like we have any disabled spots. No we don't so we'll have to make do with regular for right now. That's going to be good for me. So that should have unlocked a park gate for us. Yes, it has indeed. So we can place this in a place now if we want. Where do we actually want this to sit, I wonder? Again, it's not particularly part life cheese, so not bothered about it making vast amounts of money. But we can still factor in the main gate entrance as part of the park detailing. Exactly like that. Let's give it a little bit more breathing room just until it becomes disconnected. That's going to be nice. A little bit of surface pattern now. Just to extend that texture out. And again, there's detail opportunities here as well once we come to it. So, next key feature of any park, of course, is our favourite simple seawall keys. Let's go ahead and get these in. <laughs> these are the best. Right, let's snap to a road guideline of the tram road just so we can kind of gauge where we want this thing to sit. And no road length for this either. And I think just nice, big, sort of sweeping curves with it. Yeah, I absolutely love the simple seawall keys here. They give such massive sort of improvements to waterfronts, don't they? Cool. So we'll respect the shape of the shoreline for the most part. Yeah, let's bring it up to here. Start moving into some slightly more boxier patterns now. There we go. Let's also come off the angle snap. And then just nice big wide keys here. And I will end it there and then for... Whatever else wants to happen with this side of the waterfront, whoever picks this up uh, can decide whether or not they want the keys to continue. Fantastic. So definitely not at the same height here. Let's come in to move it. We are going to grab the nodes of only uh, other sections. And this should allow us to grab every single node on the key. That's very nice. Let's hit Control and H to activate the height shortcut. And then we will say everyone come to this node here. That's going to straighten everyone out. Not too tall. That's going to be nice. And then, of course, we just want to make sure that we slope away any nasty dirt that's mounting up against the side of the key. Okay, slope it out a little bit. Crazy water will subside, of course, but look at that. We're already getting lots of parking, too. And people using the trams. Should we discuss some tram line detailing while we're here? I think it'd be rude not to, right? So I think the inclusion of a part life pathway. That is going to be appreciated because they do kind of come uh, pre-detailed, if you like, with the little bins on them and uh, the lights. So that's going to help us. And I think once we line the entire thing uh, with some park fencing, because I'm going to just to kind of separate it away and just have sort of little designated uh, entrance and exit points into this big waterfront parkland. And each time we come to a tram stop, this is where we will have another pathway that links through into the park. So again, it's a possibility to turn these into park gates if you wanted to. So you need a little bit more room than two tiles though for that, but it's uh, it's not a part life cheese. So it doesn't matter. Uh, there we go. We'll also allow the tram line itself to be uh, sort of an entrance point into the part too. 
Yeah, so again, a little touch of node controller here now. Um, if we just add in a crossing, it does move the tram stop slightly back, but it should allow people to now move back and two across the different stops once the AI picks it up. Yeah, she's going back there now. Let me just amend the tram stop so they don't sort of stop at the wrong spot. Yeah, there we go. So they're using that as a crossing now. That's really good. We'll make sure we do that for each of the tram stations too. Yeah, we definitely just want to tidy up any sort of little node bends that have happened from our node controller work. Super. So on each side of where these little paths converge, we will also provide a connection uh, into the walkable seawall keys. We do want to be careful with these though because they do um, affect the terrain. There we go. It's already coming to life, isn't it? Should we just leave it there? <laughs> I think I'm happy with this now. This is nice. Right, and of course, lots of detailing to be had along the pathway. And what I am thinking in terms of detailing is actually using um, some of the park life hedges on a linear fence fill using the prop line tool. And um, because these are actually going to sit really cutely up and against the fence if we make sure that they're connected. It's also come on with uh, prop and tree anarchy as well. And then where that last hedge sticks out a little bit. Let's just grab him. Slide him back in. Okay, it's a very small little tiny detail, but just seeing that kind of colourful hedge through the park gate or through the park fence is an appreciated aesthetic that I'm on board with today. Okay. Fantastic. How busy the trams are already. Very nice. That's what we like to see everyone, isn't it? This boy is always happy to work with trams in cities. <laughs> it is the best. So let's start working on the sort of main frontage on the park now. I think we'll come in with a little two-lane road. Make a little roundabout, which we can detail as well, of course. I also think we'll sit to three deep, like we did with the other one. It's going to be a nice size for the park, I think. Nothing too big. And again, we can upgrade uh, using some of our new workshop trees, if we like. Get our brush size down. Oops, that's maybe a little bit too much, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's probably too much. Too much palms. Let's just go for that for right now. I'll probably change it in the detail and time lapse. And then we'll come into one of these little cute one unit roads as well. Again, snap into a road length and an angle now. See, I think if we come out a tile further than that, we're going to start affecting the terrain, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, so let's do three units instead. And then what I really want to do here now is start compiling uh, a bunch of the uh, university city commercial assets, because these just work so nicely on the waterfront. You know, things like the ice cream parlor. Sort of catfish cafes as well. Some of these ones with the little verandas on them, almost like little restaurants. Yeah, catfish cafe. Little wine and liquor too. One of these restaurants too. Let's just grab everyone. Bring everyone up. We will, of course, have to bring uh, power and water over here. And then I think just to help them uh, sit in against the waterfront a little easier, we are going to use a little another walking pathway, which is going to activate our walkable seawall keys. And then just a healthy dose of surface painter between. And there's lots of detail opportunities here, including some of the part life stuff. I like the flower beds. Maybe we can get some of these in. Not on a linear fence floor though. Let's turn that off. And then let's go for 10 meter spacing. Perhaps a little bit more than that, maybe 20 meters is okay. Yeah. So unfortunately we are without the... Uh, workshop planters, which we're so used to in ILOS now, but we can make do with some of the vanilla assets as well. Okay, so this is going to be really nice. Happy with that. Let's go back to our car park designs now. And I think I want to flesh this out again with uh, a little bit of a service road. So I think this was 8 units, wasn't it? Or 10? Ten? 10 units, that's fine. So we'll lose a little bit of our car park units become with the service road. And then we'll do 4 units. And then back onto the road again. And then one more time, four units, and then back onto the road. Okay, I'm happy with how the sort of nodes here actually frame uh, those little palms. I'm definitely not against that aesthetic, I think. And these are now going to fit perfectly inside of these, because we do have parking not snapping on, so we'll make sure that we correct that. And then we can manually pop our last ones as well. So service painter does work quite nicely between these patterns again, but I think we'll keep it quite grassy. Uh, yeah, we'll even make it sort of like a gravel area if we like. Which I don't think we will do. 
Yeah, let's make all these gravel. Make sure it's only the central reservations that are gravel there. I think indeed a little bit of uh, vanilla bushes are going to be quite welcome here. Nothing overly landscaped, I think, for these sort of central car park areas. Perhaps something a little bit more along the lines of the green tree too. Okay. That's going to give us a nice little park, or little car park for our park anyway. Yeah, I think we'll just do a little two-lane avenue with grass, I think. Okay, so let's bring this out more, treat this as an initial frame. So I want to include some unique buildings here today as well. And I think I'm going to go with the friendly neighborhood park. Yeah, this is fine for me. Let's start to bring in some new angles, though, so we're not constantly snapped to this sort of 90 degree that we're working with at the minute. So we'll bring this down. That's going to be great. Let's go ahead and throw in the uh, friendly neighborhood park. I think that's going to be a nice time, isn't it? So we can certainly expand this out with Anarchy because, of course, we are playing with the Anarchy mods. Okay, and just extend these vanilla pathways that actually come out. Link these in with some of the tram stops here as well today. Bring this over. Then, of course, a little bit of node controller. Uh, just to create crossing, and let's just slightly amend uh, these tram stops. Let's bring them over here. Wonderful. That's going to just provide a little bit more interconnectivity now between the park areas. Let's go ahead and get some water pipes hooked in before everyone starts to abandon. Wonderful. So that's going to be nice. I'm happy with that. Let's start playing with some of the actual park life assets themselves now, because we do want to get this park actually leveling up. So we'll throw in a little info booth. Which I think would be nice, you know, people sort of arriving into the park might want to grab a little pamphlet about what's here. You know, head down to the sort of restaurant waterfront, or indeed the friendly neighbourhood park if need be. And we can grab some freeform tools now. So I've never actually anarchied uh, the vanilla paths into one of these assets, so I'm not even sure if they will work. I'm sure we'll find out together. Okay, let's have that in there, and I think what I want to do is actually repeat the little... A roundabout design now that comes off of this. So let's do this and then we'll grab a little two lane roads again. Oh yes, there we go. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> love that. Absolutely love seeing people walk across the keys. I think it's like top 10 most satisfying things in cities, isn't it? Seeing the walker will see walk keys come to life. Cool. So we'll have that in there. That's going to be grand. So it's going to make sense now to hook this at car park into the roundabout. Let's come on to our road guideline. And we can just come in here and create that angle. And that's going to complete the road network frame for everyone else around here now. Very nice indeed. Let's continue to place in some more park life assets. Definitely some park restrooms around here. Uh, maybe one or a couple alongside the car park. You know, imagine people have just got out of the car for a long journey and they do need to visit the Thunderbox and they have that option. The power sync through now, not sure how. Oh, that is a fairly big jump, isn't it? I didn't realise it would connect that way, but that's fine by me. That solves my problem. Okay, but otherwise, it's not too bad, is it? Let's continue to do uh, some more path work around here. So I'm aware I'm starting to move between different styles of path, which isn't usually something I'm fond of. I like to keep it fairly consistent. But we'll stick with the part life paths right now. Let's hook in there. We're not affecting the terrain under the key too badly. And then this can also hook into the car park. Wonderful. Come ahead and grab ourselves a little park cafe. And see where we want this. So it looks like we've got sort of perfect opportunities here, or nearly perfect. That is going to affect the terrain pretty significantly as we experience an earthquake. That's fine though. We can just flip our orientation. I'm going to be happy with that. Also got some plazas available too. Which we might have a little repeated plaza action along by the road. And I don't think I'm totally against the inclusion of yet some more uh, sort of modern city centre commercial in this way either. We have like the little Cramburger place, right? Yeah, I'm happy with that. And I think it wants a little bit of a uh, tree shield, if you like, for lack of a better phrase. Start bringing some of these in. 
I always love our new content creator trees. This will be kind of the forest palette for this city as well. I imagine we want to be set up our forest brush for the series. Okay, a little bit of overgrowth around here. That's going to be nice for me. That should just kind of help create a little bit of an important entrance for the sort of waterfront park now, right? I'm an enormous lover of how the uh, car parking connections have actually framed uh, these little palms over here. Very much enjoying that aesthetic. There we go. People coming and going now. Crossing over our little single node tram. Very happy. <laughs> this is my new favourite tram trick to do the node control stuff. We might make a separate video on this to kind of showcase a couple of different uses for it. And let me know if you guys want that down in the comments below. Okay, but it is growing, isn't it? It is growing. Let's continue to bring out some path nodes. Again, we'll snap to an angle with a freeform tool. And we'll connect back into the tram line. Very nice. Let's return to our cafe. I'm happy with this. Let's actually check the level of the park area, see what we're like for. Yes, we do have the entertainment value, but again, hitting visitors is going to be fairly tricky because we're not treating it as a part life cheese. Uh, but actually having the park gate hooked in would be appropriate, right? It's going to be helpful at least. Let's continue our key design up until the edge of the build today, which will be sort of where this road ends. Yeah, so we'll treat this as our build area. And remove some of the trees that we don't want in. We will replace them as we want them to look. There we go. Let's have another connection in there. I'm happy with that. Let's also grab our fence too. Put a little bit of a song and dance around the front of the uh, park gate now. Get a little bit more service painter can be uh, introduced in the right colour anyway. And because we're not playing with a perfect sort of north, east, southwest snap point here, service painter won't behave itself uh, to the best of its ability, but we can hide this with detailing, uh, especially with kind of live oak patterns, which are sort of very dominant along the fence line, okay? Bring a few of these alongside. And it should just help tidy up a little bit of the service painter nastiness. Give us something of a little park entrance uh, for our sims. Okay, how much use this is going to get, we will wait and see. Uh, it might also be worth setting up just a couple of little side gates just so we can hit that next uh, visitor value uh, for people coming and going from the park. We are having some pretty significant crime problems in the city as well. Is everyone okay, I wonder? No. Is that a budget issue? No, we're, we're fully funded on police. It looks like we just need uh, another police station. Which again, I think could possibly be included within the park itself, if we want. If we were to place this here, how are we feeling? Probably just want to bring it slightly more this way. Perhaps give it a little spin as well, just so that sort of police logo is facing out onto the front. It's all about changing up angles and stuff. I think I'm happy with that. Very nice. <laughs> absolutely love seeing a little part like this come to life. Isn't it just immensely satisfying? Cool. Let's continue to uh, design some more of these little waterfront networks. So again, we'll keep the measurements the same. We know we're at three units here. Okay, let's bring that up. Let's also snap to a road guideline. And bring this one down. Very nice. Let's get some more of these little waterfront shops in now. And definitely Green City stuff uh, is going to be appropriate here too. We don't have to stick uh, exclusively to the sort of University City stuff. Yeah, definitely things like the little container cafes. Let's double couple of these up. Okay, we can even make a little bit of a song and dance out of these as well if we want by just giving them a little spin but keeping them close to the road network so they maintain their connection so they don't abandon. And then... Because they already have kind of the gravel texture within them. And we can just expand that vibe down there. And possibly surface paint it too if we want. So we'll bring out this whole area as gravel. Let's continue out the frame just ever so slightly more. Let's maybe come out from this side. Let's 
going to be good for me. We will grab the node and slide it as close to the key as we can again without affecting the terraforming, because that can really murder the vibes that you can put together. With some of these walkable sea walkies. And then we'll chuck down some of our little green cities numbers. And again, just use and move it now to uh, position them where we want within the waterfront. Let's grab these two sort of little container bars and see if we can spin them to face the water. Imagine sat on the top tier, looking out over the bay. It's desirable places to come and eat, isn't it? I think a pennies is also quite appropriate. I wouldn't be happy with that. And then this one isn't that bad looking either. Yeah, this one here. I think I'm on board with that one coming in. And of course, we've got the commercial demand in the city as well to satisfy these placements, so... Everyone's going to have a nice time. And maybe a little fry guys in there as well, just so we can have the logo. Okay. Wonderful. Let's come in and grab the world of uh, basketball courts and baseball courts as well. We'll definitely have some of these in. Again, I think I want to start respecting the angles here, so it kind of throws itself off as it moves down this side. It looks like these are actually functional too. We are going to be getting people walking um, into these areas. Now we've anarchied the key, the pathways into them, which is very good. I'm happy with that. Cool. So let's go into a small unit road. Um, possibly dirt road actually might be uh, most appropriate this side. Yeah, let's go for that. And then we'll place down a couple of basketball courts. That's to go for tennis, I think. So, of course, my Bob config files have actually changed the way that these look, but I will manually decorate them again. Okay, that's going to be fine for me. Let's also do a couple of basketball courts too. So, we'll just make like a little sports complex now around the back of these. And I'm quite keen to start introducing some uh, walkability back into between the different layers here today. So we'll grab ourselves a vanilla walking pathway. And with anarchy and no road length, we can now make a lot of these spaces around here walkable. Which is going to be nice. Let's position our tennis courts in here too. And again, I think the little walkability vibe is something we can continue out this side. Feed into the roundabout here. It can be quite node intensive this stuff, but it's not too bad. Then let's have a little browse through some of our trees here. I think some of the gums to kind of shelter the sports arenas from the sun are going to be appropriate. Get some of these in as well. It's a little bit anarchy. So it doesn't move it just to refine the position. It's a world of difference to our little park areas, doesn't it? Get a lot of overgrowth out the back here as well. It would be nice if we could actually save um, some sort of admin area here. So let's, if we search for fences uh, with move it, we cannot always find it. You know, we can grab these little ones here, can't we? So why don't we put these on a linear fence, Phil? Yeah, we'll take our option for that. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's bring out a little fence way that almost marks off the uh, delivery areas for the waterfront commercials. It's not, it's not just exposed to the public here. Let's also carry it on down this side as well. So it looks like we're also having a couple of education problems in the city. Yes, it's a good chunk of the people over here that aren't that well educated. And I think a community school within the park grounds here is going to work. We're going to try it anyway. So let's come back into our roads. We're going to carry on using these cute little vanilla plus ones. That's new favorite roads, of course. With a road length and an angle snap. Let's bring this down. Go ahead and grab the school itself. Which should help us meet a little bit more of the demand. Again, is this a funding issue? I think it probably is, isn't it? Yeah, we can bring that back up because we are getting uh, not enough educated workers. And there's a high school. We don't need a university yet. High school is fine, yeah, so it's really elementary education that's suffering. Uh, which again, I think is just a budget issue, isn't it? So, yeah, we do need more capacity. 
I think it's probably about time that I raise the education budget back up then. It's very nearly pushed us into the orange. We will need to place um, another school. Let's just have a quick look, actually. Yeah, there's no elementary schools here. Imperial Jedi has got one, and Zardas will have one as well, I imagine. Yes, he does. Okay. So, yeah, we definitely want another elementary school over this side, then. Um, I'm just going to throw it over here for right now. It wants something bringing around it, though, which we will do. Uh, do you want our detail time lapse, of course? Where else? Cool. Let's give it water. So, we'll now position this to sort of sit nicely behind the neighborhood park. We will also give the school its own car park. So we'll come on with a little service road. Let's do four units, that should be okay. And then we'll do eight. And then service road back in. Uh, actually, no, let's do ten. Let's do it slightly wider. There we go. A little service road back in. And little car parking spot there too. Okay, again assets that work nicely uh, with these little schools are going to be the large and small playgrounds. Okay, let's get that in. Again, a little slight angle adjustment with Move It is going to be appreciated. Uh, not against the carousel being present within the park area either, although its positioning is going to have to be very carefully chosen. And that could uh, destroy a lot of our vibes today. How about over here by the plazas? Uh, we will definitely want to use Bob, though, to remove um, the bushes that are on this. There we go. And if we can spin it around so none of the assets are encroaching upon anything else. Bring this around so the bins aren't touching it either. Okay, and then we can just drag up dirt road network so it's not encroaching yeah carousel definitely fits in doesn't it really does um how's the park life area going oh we lost the cranberger one that's fine yeah so nine visitors so far i've come through the gate down this way yeah there is a few people picking it up it's going to be a slow burn though yeah we definitely want some more of the park assets in so where's the busiest entrance point here it's probably this one isn't it yeah, let's just temporarily turn this into a park gate then. It's going to want to be within the park area itself, isn't it? Make sure we paint it out so it's also included as part of this one. So yeah, park side gate. And then move it, can just spin it around. So that hopefully should allow us to start charging some more people. Let's have a little look at the park area. My building has abandoned. That was due to the education, wasn't it? I'm just going to reset this one uh, with move it. Hopefully that won't happen now we have the education coming in. Okay, so let's have a look at Strawberry Gardens now. And then hopefully over the course of the week, businesses now should start piling up a little bit more. I actually don't mind the aesthetic of a park gate occasionally along the fence. It does break the very kind of immense fence design that is coming through this area. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely working there. We're fine now. Cool. I'm also thinking we can possibly get the park maintenance building in alongside the tram depot as well. Again, super important looking asset. Works really nicely along main roads like this when you consider its orientation. Especially alongside the tram depot. I'm happy with that. And we do have some uh, traffic and collection issues uh, with Zardas' industrial area. Okay, so what's the problem here? It looks like everyone is just trying to barrel through this junction. They have no other access into the city, do they? Okay, let's fix that then. So let's start to relieve the pressure on this junction because all of the industrial service vehicles, yeah, like there's a lot of garbage collection stuff here. Yeah, that's struggling to get into the city, so garbage is accumulating. So let's fix this. Let's go ahead and grab this road here. There is two power plants here though, however. So uh, spin these around and just stick them over here for right now. I imagine this industrial area isn't permanent. It's going to be changed into something eventually. This close to the capital. 
with the angle and road length, we will also come up with the road anarchy too. We're going to force down to ground and that's come down by about 7 metres. So just come straight under the highway, back to ground. We will extend this big 6 lane out. Again, it's all capital development, isn't it? Someone can come and pick this up once they make their way over here. Cool. So just another way into the city for them. So we want to also upgrade these highways into false elevations. Cool. There we go. So hopefully the AI will uh, pick this up as a temporarily faster route. There's already some people choosing to walk down this way as well. It looks like some of the... Yeah, so garbage trucks, delivery trucks are starting to come through here as well. Okay, not enough fuel for this one. It's just going to be a delivery issue, isn't it? I don't know where I'm just slightly finagling Zardis' power plant placements here, but I'm just going to move them over here for the time being because I need to fix this. Let's also give another entrance into the industrial area as well, so not everyone is barreling through this two lane road. What I might actually do is upgrade this into a two lane, two way highway. Just so the AI will read it as a faster road. There we go. And sloping is going to be something we want to do. Uh, with network multi tool. Just to even out those gradients a little bit. Can't upset the gradient police again. <laughs> not, for, not for two seasons in a row. Okay, so I'm just going to move all the assets off of this entrance road here. Because we're going to have to upgrade it. Never mind. It's burnt through all my money relocating. When I have to move it, what am I doing? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so to stick with them over there for right now, let's widen this industrial road out so people have more room. Um, and it's probably worth actually playing with a little one way contra flow system here because everyone's just trying to power back in. Uh, so we will have this way as one way. You will also become one way too. Facing the other way. Also have this main road as one way network. Yep, yeah, come through. Let's keep the contra flow system going. It's just the back of traffic in the industrial area that's causing everyone to choke. It is starting to clay now here though. This little high speed road back into the city is also alleviating a lot of the pressure as well. Okay, so those slight amendments with the little contra flow system and just a little alleviating pressure road seems to have cleared up the vast majority of that backlog. So I think we're okay now. It's just a kind of busy industrial area now. Cool. I can't imagine this will be staying though. It's just kind of random generic industry in the capital, isn't it? Probably refine it a little bit more at some point. Cool. Wonderful. So the part's coming along now. Let's see what we're like towards level two. Yes, very, very nearly there, uh, which will give us access to a couple more cool assets within the part life area. Yes, some of these as well. Uh, let's not forget some of our tourism assets as well. Um, things like restaurants on the pier. Okay, we can have one of these at this point. Perhaps we can just slide it off the edge of the key so it's not... Oh, there we go. Just lots of some part pairs as well. That's good news. Yeah, so we don't want to lose this connection. But I really hate the way that the fence of the, of the key actually just kind of chills out in the middle of the key or the asset so let's dive into keys we'll grab at the fenceless one connect this in and then just use move it to um, slide the nodes just up to the lip of where the fence and the fenceless start which should just open up the front of that restaurant pier make it sit a little bit more naturally on the waterfront so I'm happy with that, I think. I think I'm happy with it. Okay. But things are happening now. This will definitely be the end of the build here today as the tram line goes off into the next part of the city. I'm hoping we can just sort of sink this down. So it chills just above the fence. Yeah, that's going to be good. Also have a chessboard in here now too. How do we feel about the chessboard? It's quite a bold asset, isn't it? Okay, we'll see. I do want a lot of this side of the part to remain quite natural. 
if not for again just some supplementary detailing of info booths and restrooms around the entrances for people to get information from and rest of course. Okay, and again during our detailed time lapse we can uh, bring out our favourite sort of part life uh, tiles here to extend the beer garden out around the cafes, we can do that. Trams are super busy, let's actually have a little look at the line. Make sure that we are having enough capacity, I imagine we will be. Yeah, yeah, they're just nice and busy right now. Nothing overly complicated happening with them. However guys, that does feel like a wonderful place for a detailing time lapse. Uh, we're going to carry on bringing in some waterfront detailing using our vanilla uh, part life planters and some surface painter. Get some benches in here too. Just make a generally kind of nice detailed waterfront. Uh, some roundabout detailing. In the roundabouts we've set up some node controller as well and possibly some intersection marking tool. Uh, I'll see how it comes along. And um, bring in lots of the natural forest that's over this area and kind of develop a... Uh, 5B1C Season 3 brush that we can use as we come around into the city. Uh, lots of hedge detailing along the fences and I think I'm going to keep the gates in. I do just like the aesthetic of the sort of marble pillars um, that are in them. I do quite like that. And sort of that little inconsistency like this so it doesn't just sort of jerk off to the left all of a sudden. Uh, and then bring in this natural forest that we've got over here to bring around the tram depot. Then tidy up any nasty dirt that is sat up against our keys. It's a little bit over here as well, isn't it? Yes, there is. Cool. And yeah, just generally tie it all together. And then we can have uh, the capital's nice little sort of waterfront attraction park. So, let's detail for the first time in 5B1C Season 3. And we'll be right back.
guys, that is going to do it for today. Like, thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, likes, comments, and shares below really help me out. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, then please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Indeed, if you are new and coming from one of the other content creators, please do consider subscribing to the channel as well. Really happy with this. Always love a waterfront park, especially when there are trams involved and lots of detail in around the main sort of bulk peninsula, which has really turned into kind of a little hotspot retreat for people to come and enjoy in the capital city now. And hopefully once the capital continues to grow around this, it will continue to fit into the eventual skyline which I think it should. All of the other content creators in this collaboration are linked down below, and there are lots of new people this year, including guest builders and new permanent builders, including Slay and Yumble, I've entered in for this season, uh, replacing Lee and City Planner. So if you haven't checked them out, please go and do so. Uh, really wonderful videos for you guys to go and get inspiration from. But otherwise, do hang around for some cinematics as into my first foray into 5B1C Season 3, and check out what you think of it once it comes into nighttime, which is always appreciated, right? Next week, I will be working on my own town on the other side of the mountain range, so that should be fun. Lots of rural vibes. <laughs> Otherwise, I will shut up, and I will leave it there. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.